is an amazing herb which is very easy to grow. If you grow it in the garden, you just need to plant it once and ensure that it goes to seeds every year and then you would have a lot of fresh dill all the time. It's a little bit more differ difficult and different to do it in a container and this video we are going to talk about how to grow dill in a container. Different types of dill. For growing in pots I would recommend dills which takes longer to mature um, just because it will take longer for them to get seeds and there is um, a longer period where you can collect the green leaves. When you collect them, unfortunately, um, they don't grow back. So once you crops, um, once you cut them, you wouldn't be able to um, to get new leaves from the same plant. So it's important to keep planting new um, new plants, new seeds every um, about three weeks. So you always have a harvest of fresh dill. You can choose almost any pot that you want. However, the bigger the pot, the easier to grow um, and care about dill. Similarly, any soil would go. Um, I recommend um, homemade soil like in this video. However, a universal soil would also grow very well. You plant seeds in the same way that you would plant any other herb seeds. Prepare a container with the soil, water it, spread some seeds on the top and put a little bit of um, soil on the top of it. Dill generally um, have a lot of oils in it which stops um, germination very fast. It takes long time for dill to germinate. In order to speed up the process what you can do is first of all to put it in water and keep it in water um, for a couple of hours or wash them in water before planting um, and also once you plant cover it with a foil or something that would prevent evaporation so that that's, that stay um, wet for some time before they start sprouting. So once you covered your pot, put it um, in a dark place. Kitchen cupboard would be perfect, somewhere with about 20 degrees Celsius and wait for about a week. Um, generally, you do not need to water it during this period because you already watered it and you covered it with um, some um, plastic. Dill really like light and it needs a lot of lights. If you grow it inside, then put it on a um, south facing window. Um, if you grow it outside in a, in a terrace or in um, on a balcony, then don't forget to put it also somewhere where it gets light. If you grow them not uh, till not in summer, then you need to ensure that it has additional lighting. Um, so there are plenty of lights now um, for plants which don't consume a lot of energy and produce exactly the light that they need to grow. So it would be very important for you to use this for dill um, if you want to grow it year round. Dill needs a lot of water, so you need to for sure make sure that it doesn't, um, that the soil doesn't get dry because you can lose all your dill. And that's why it's, um, I recommend to grow it in bigger pots because it's easier to ensure that the soil stays wet. Also, I recommend to grow them in plastic pots because then water doesn't evaporate so fast and you can have um, your watering schedule um, not as often as otherwise in a terracotta pot. It's especially important um, to water it uh, when it's very small, when, um, when you just see that little plants started growing because at this time they're the most vulnerable. I um, use drip irrigation for dill just because it's easier to ensure regular watering. About every two weeks it's recommended to use um, fertilizers which contain nitrogen because uh, dill requires a lot of nitrogen otherwise uh, the leaves become yellow and it grows not as fast as it should be. I have this um, video about producing homemade um, zero cost fertilizer containing nitrogen which I recommend over any mineral fertilizers because it has nitrogen in the form which is so easy to consume for your dill or other plants. You can watch it after this video. 
it's best to grow dill uh, at room temperature uh, not too high about 18 degrees celsius would be perfect plus minus a few degrees celsius but um, for example if you have a covered terrace where temperature doesn't go below eight degrees celsius you could also grow it there however um, it wouldn't grow as fast as otherwise with this enjoy deal and let me know if you have any additional questions about growing deal and also check uh, how to grow other herbs for example spinach um, basil parsley or other herbs and subscribe